Have you ever wondered whether the nervous system is connected to your immune system? And how does the nervous system affect your immune system? Or whether the nervous system can directly be related to inflammation? If those questions intrigue you, then keep watching. I want to start off by saying that we have different organs and systems in the body and they're not working alone. They're working with all the other organs and systems together. There's a connection between all of them. And today, we're gonna to be talking about how the nervous system is connected to your immune system through something called the vagus nerve. And the topic for today is, we're gonna to be talking about how we can lower inflammation naturally through the vagus nerve, because the vagus nerve is connected to the immune system. So I want you to watch to the end of this video and tell me how you lower inflammation through your own lifestyle. And let me know if you've heard of the vagus nerve before. And if you have, what do you do to lower inflammation through stimulating the vagus nerve? And before I continue, please don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. I put a lot of work into these videos and I would love more people to understand and know about this knowledge to not only help themselves, but to be able to potentially help other people as well. So what is the vagus nerve? Well, the vagus nerve is the main parasympathetic nerve of our body. It is the rest and digest part of our nervous system. When we are activating our parasympathetic nervous system, we're able to digest better, absorb nutrients better, and also to have a better functioning immune system. Many of us with chronic illnesses, such as an autoimmune disease, are in sympathetic overdrive. And it's important that we try to lower our sympathetic nervous system by upregulating our parasympathetic nervous system. And today, that's what I'm gonna be talking about. How to raise your parasympathetic nervous system so that we can try to be healthier. And I wanna mention something called psychoneuroimmunology. It's a really big word. And it took me a long time to get this correct. The first time I learned this word, I couldn't even pronounce it correctly. It's been a while, that's why I was able to pronounce it on the first take of this video. And psychoneuroimmunology means how the mind is connected to the nervous system and the immune system. If you type in psychoneuroimmunology on Google, this is the definition. And it says, the study of the effect of the mind on health and resistance to disease. We're gonna do a deep dive into psychoneuroimmunology in a future video, but I just want you to be exposed and aware to this word because the mind is connected to the nervous system and immune system. With that said, let's now go dive into the natural ways we can lower inflammation through stimulation of the vagus nerve. Now, there are different ways to stimulate the vagus nerve naturally. I'm gonna tell you nine ways to do it. So if I'm missing something, please comment below and tell me what I'm missing because I can't go over every single way to stimulate the vagus nerve naturally. So I appreciate your comments and I do take time to read them. So number one is deep breathing. You wanna engage in a slow, deep diaphragmatic breathing. Inhale deeply through your nose, allow your abdomen to expand and exhale slowly through your mouth. Now, if the explanation is too complicated, let me break it down for you. I like to do the box breathing method. So you breathe in for four seconds, and then hold it for four seconds, and then you exhale for four seconds. And you keep doing this so you focus in on your breath. There are variations of deep breathing. This is just one of the methods. Meditation. Meditation is number two. This is one that I struggle with, but meditation can activate the vagus nerve and so can prayer as well. Number three, exercise. You wanna keep moving. Movement stimulates the vagus nerve. Resistance training and cardio are different options. You don't have to do something that's intense. You can simply do something that's walking, swimming, or Tai Chi. Those things also help with stimulation of the vagus nerve. As long as you do something that's rhythmic and it could be at a slow place, that's okay. Number four, yoga. 
Yoga can also stimulate the vagus nerve as well because it involves deep breathing and it can stretch the neck as well. So if you do yoga, tell me what kind of yoga you do. I sometimes practice yoga myself, but I'm not consistent with it. I love it for the stretching purposes and the relaxation purposes as well. Number five is splashing cold water on your face. Now when I heard of this, it sounded really weird, but splashing cold water in the face does stimulate the vagus nerve. Sometimes when you wake up in the morning, you splash cold water in the face, that's a way to stimulate the vagus nerve. So sometimes people do cold plunges and it does help with that as well. Singing and chanting. No, I'm not gonna sing for you in this video, but singing and chanting and humming all can help stimulate the vagus nerve. And the reason why is because you're vibrating the vocal cords and that stimulates the vagus nerve. So it doesn't matter if you're a good singer. I'm a bad singer, so I'm not gonna sing for you in this video, but it doesn't matter if you're bad or good because that vibration is gonna help. So keep singing. And number seven is massage. And in particular reflexology, I think it's very relaxing here. Um, so I like to get massages, I like to get reflexology as well. So those are things you can look into. So if you like massages or like to do reflexology, then carry on, because it does help with the vagus nerve and relaxation. Laughter, okay, this one surprised me as well. Laughter also stimulates the vagus nerve. I like laughing, I like cracking jokes, and laughter is a way to bring the community together to make other people laugh as well, but also helps stimulate the vagus nerve and helps you relax also. Laughter triggers a release of neurotransmitters as well, and hormones that stimulate the vagus nerve. So keep watching funny movies and laugh with your friends and family. And finally, number nine is gargling with water. When you gargle with water, it activates the muscles in your throat. And that's another way to stimulate the vagus nerve. So those are all nine different ways of stimulating the vagus nerve and activating your parasympathetic nervous system. Now, stimulation of the nervous system through the vagus nerve is not only limited to activating the immune system. So it goes beyond just helping with autoimmune diseases and chronic illnesses. It can also actually help with depression, anxiety, and also seizures as well. There are actual devices on the market now that helps to make the vagus nerve. So previously, probably before I went to medical school, they actually used implantable vagus nerve devices. So surgically implanted. And they probably do it these days as well but there are devices on the market now you can buy that help stimulate it. So you can buy something that is put on your wrist. You can buy something that clips onto your ear. I use these in my offices as well. There's ways you can do it naturally and there's ways you can do it electronically. And I would say off for the natural part first, if that doesn't work, the electric stuff probably does work as well. And there's evidence behind that for rheumatoid arthritis for anxiety, depression, different autoimmune diseases, there's scientific literature out there. And remember, when you stimulate your parasympathetic nervous system, you lower the heart rate and you can also lower the blood pressure as well. If you enjoyed this video or you learned something, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below so you keep supporting my endeavors of spreading this message to more people in the world. And if you wanna see me as a patient or you wanna work with me, I have two ways for you to do that. So number one is you can see me in my private practice at Dr. Lifestyle and the link to that is in the description below. So I am located in Southern California and I see patients virtually or in person and I am licensed in different states in the USA. Number two is there's a new virtual rheumatology clinic called Rheumission. I'm the medical director for that and you can work with me and other healthcare team members as well. That is also in the description below and that's called remission. Don't hesitate to reach out and potentially see me in one of those two different places. All right, I'll see you guys next time.